Hey folks, uh, today I'm going to be installing a cover for the back of my Tacoma. It's estimated it takes about roughly about an hour, give and take. Uh, I've not ever done it before, but it should be straightforward installation. Um, this is what I'm putting in. Fold the cover. Um, I've been waiting on it, so I've kind of been sitting on it and trying to figure out you know, how I'm going to go about this. Alright, stay tuned. So, guys, you're going to need to go over your stuff. Uh, make sure that you have all your pieces, uh, the requirements that you should have some box wrenches, a torque wrench, um, some uh, thread locker, and... Um, and the, another thing I want to mention is that my instructions, I couldn't find them. What they did was they put it in between the uh, cover. So make sure that if you don't find it, check in underneath the covers. It should have been with, the, with these and it wasn't. So anyway, um, I'm just going over my checklist before I do the actual installation. So the first application of this is to use rubbing alcohol to clean the rails. Do both sides. Just kind of get the dirt off of it. All right, guys. So I've kind of run into a few things that I've done wrong. Starting off, I put this bracket here, which was in the wrong place. It should be here. And I had placed this before, but you actually need to place this first. This with this nut, lock nut, and the washer. And that's going to hold that uh, bracket up on the rail on the, on the back. Okay, everything has to be hand tightened except for this bracket here. So this bracket is going to go on the back. Make sure you put your insert in the middle. The two short screws with the lock nut and the washer is going to go on top. The center long bolt is going to catch on the bottom and that's going to hold that in place. So make sure you reinsert the center bracket back in. The next thing is going to be the cover. I got to bring the cover up and then start aligning everything. So <clears throat> the next thing is you put the cover, bring it all the way to the back. Let me undo this here a second. Get it aligned, flush. Now you're going to have a little kind of a play with this thing here, this uh, weather seal. You just got to pull it from underneath. And then align the uh, the cover, and then the next thing I have is going to be the uh, the brackets. So one of the reasons why I put the bed lights on this truck is you see how dark it is in there. Now when you got light, it helps. So the next thing I gotta do is fold the front panel over so that we can add this bracket to this part here. As you can see that, that's gonna slide in here. We're gonna secure that and then that's gonna attach to the inner bracket that I applied earlier before. So now we're going to apply this bracket with this sh shim inside. It's going to sit right in there. There's a groove here. It's going to sit right in here with these two screws. And that is going to come in here and hold that. So guys, make sure that you hold 
the shim in place when you're tightening so it doesn't slide out as you adjust the screws. You'll need a, um, oh gosh, I want to say it's a 532nd uh, Allen key for these screws. Alright guys, so the next thing you're going to be mounting is this piece. It's an L bracket. It's going to be facing this way. And uh, earlier before I said to tighten these down, so actually you should hand tighten them so you're allowed to kind of play around with this bracket. And that bracket is going to sit, if you can look across the way, it's got a little bar. That's going to be, it. that's going to attach to that with a couple of bolts and washers. And that will secure this part of the, uh, of the cup. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is to center your strike pin, which locks the cover. And that is the correct way. And here it doesn't align. So I have to loosen this bolt up here. Got to loosen these bolts with a 3 8 box wrench. Slide the silver and center it. And then after, bring the pin up, push down on the cover and lock the pin. And that will secure the locking mechanism. Alright guys, I'm done with my installation. Uh, ran into a couple of snags. One of them was the uh, the latch system. Um, you have to make sure that they both open at the same time. If they don't, then you have a, a problem when you're trying to open the cover. So. I'll show you what, what I mean. So when I pull on my latch here, both of these should open at the same time. Before I had one prematurely open opening before the other. So that took a little time trying to tweak it and that's using this adjust nut here. And you just gotta keep doing it until you get them both to open at the same time. The other thing I'm ran into is this seal is brand new. So when you come to cover this here, if you notice the seal's hitting, and so you gotta kind of finagle it in a way that it um you'll see. You gotta kind of play with it. And so I call the uh the folder cover. And what they told me is this it's going to take a few, as you notice it's folded, but it's locked. So he recommended to use a, either armor all or some kind of sealant protection or something like that. And that'll get this kind of more relaxed. But it should look like that when you're done because it actually what it does is sealing the water from having to come into the compartment. Um, they also gave me, um, this seal, and the seal here is, is made for the inside. I don't think I'm going to need that. It's more like, if you're going to want no dust or anything to come in, it's supposed to go somewhere around here in the gate. Anyway, that's the final installation of this. Stay tuned, got more videos.